The Nintendo GameCube had a full roster of incredible games last generation, but late in the game, well, let's just say in the GameCube's proverbial ninth inning, there wasn't much action in the bullpen. Perhaps that's why Mario Superstar Baseball was such a welcome release for GameCube owners when it hit the platform in the summer of 2005. Not only were quality GameCube games relatively sparse during that period, but Mario Superstar Baseball was actually good. In fact, it was one of the most addictive and enjoyable Mario sports games of the last generation. So when Nintendo announced a sequel for the Wii, there was reason to be excited, right? I mean, a sequel to a solid game of arcade baseball being developed on a system with motion control and an online service? Uh, this sequel should have been like a walk-off grand slam in the 12th inning. Too bad this sequel is more like a pop fly. This is Mario Super Sluggers, a sequel to Mario Superstar Baseball and a 2008 release for the Nintendo Wii not to mention a huge disappointment. Of course, given the obvious similarities between Sluggers and its predecessor, you'd be fair to question what exactly about it is so disappointing. In response, I'd argue that very similarity is one of the game's most obvious flaws, because it does so little to distinguish itself from the original, which we reviewed over on Mark's channel, so check that out if you need to get up to speed with Sluggers. But you know, there's keeping things similar, and then there's keeping things the same, the good things included, as well as the shortcomings. And even staying the same would have been okay if the game had made the two improvements which really seemed like no-brainers upon its announcement. You'd think throwing in actual motion controls, as well as some kind of online mode, would have been automatic. And you'd be tragically mistaken in doing so. See, there's a difference between motion control, actual motion control, and waggle. Think back to Wii Sports for a moment. Remember how you swung the tennis racket? Or, or better yet, the baseball bat even. Your motions actually mattered. The speed of your swing, the angle you held the remote, those factors played a direct role in the translation of your real-life motions to your in-game actions. Unfortunately, Mario Super Sluggers doesn't use motion control the way you might have hoped it would. This isn't some fleshed-out version of Wii Sports Baseball with Mario characters. It's just Mario Superstar Baseball. With Waggle. And it doesn't have any online features whatsoever. And if I'm calling the game, and here on Undertow I am, that's Strike 3. Of course, being Mario Superstar Baseball with Waggle has some perks, too. Mario Super Sluggers may be too familiar for its own good, but the game it's an almost indistinguishable clone of was really good. And in terms of core design and gameplay, so is Mario Super Sluggers. You've got the same fast-paced and addictive game of arcade baseball, minigames included, livened up with even more characters from the Mario and Donkey Kong games. In fact, the one redeeming addition to this game is the presence of Funky Kong, who is a power hitter of the highest caliber. In fact, someone might want to check those bananas he eats for GGH. Gorilla Growth Hormone. Alright, so apart from Funky Kong, what incentives do fans of Mario Superstar Baseball have to pick up Mario Super Sluggers? Well, Namco Bandai added 16x9 widescreen, which is great, and you can play with your Mii if you want. They also added a Mario Kart-like system of throwing items to disrupt fielders, but that mechanic is actually a case of trying to fix what wasn't broken, and to be honest, feels a little broken itself. Anyway, the point is obvious, that not a whole lot was changed, or more importantly, improved, for this Wii sequel. Now, if you loved the original, and you really want to play a new version with a few new fields on your Wii, you might not be bothered by the game's lack of ambition. I mean, after all, it's still a lot of fun to play, 
It's just that the lazy Mario Super Sluggers feels more like a designated hitter than a real baseball player.